mix it up in the team drills and all, or are you happy being the same with your regiment and what you're doing to prepare for this game? Um, it's always fun to get another uh, good look from another team, but you know, we're staying with the plan, just continue to work, work hard as I can, just so I'm ready when that time comes. Watch maybe what was going on in some of the team drills, and how do you think guys did as a whole? Oh yeah, I mean I know guys come out and compete on all three phases, and um, you know do the best they can on on each and every rep. That's all coach asks, and that's all we want to do. When it comes to seeing holes, do you do you do you get a good enough feel right now, like in in the individual periods and what you're doing, or will you need some some good team drills? Before the season to, to kind of get that feel back. Yeah, I usually get a uh, some good work in right before the uh, the season starts. That's the last week of the of the preseason, and then we do a lot of walkthroughs and things like that. And you know, Coach Dude does a great job of making sure that you know we're uh, ready in, in, in any type of way, whatever run it is. So we're we're seeing and getting getting uh, north and south. You've been in the in the room with Hassan specifically, just watching his progress. It feels like he's coming along more and more each day, each week. Where have you seen him grow the most, and you know where where do you feel like those next strides can be taken for him? And his yeah, team? um, well, as far as him, you know, you know, being a rook, you know, he's you know he's you know, he's been growing on all aspects, and that's all you can ask, you know, for a rookie. Um, and every day he comes out here wanting to get better, taking it from the meeting. Um, to the practice field and then walkthroughs, just trying to be detailed as possible. And then, you know, as practice goes on, as time goes on, you see how much he's getting better. And then that one preseason game, I feel like him and Julius did a did a great job. Um, I feel like they do a great job with listening and asking questions. So, I you know from from here on out, I just you know, know, I know he'll improve, and you know, you'll see improvement from him. He's been in the room with Don Trell for a little bit longer. What would you think about Don Trell when he came in last year? Maybe how's he been? As a teammate over the course of this offseason. Yeah, he's just uh, very smart. Um, you know, he's good at, good in the pass game. He's a good, good, good runner as well. But you know, you got to be smart to you know understand all that, the concept, concepts and everything. And you know, he's a, a a good leader. You know, we both try to help the young guys as much as we can. And um, you know, I'm glad to have him. Rise to throw the ball a lot to the backs out of the backfield so far in camp. Does that get you excited that in games he'll throw the ball to the back out of the backfield to you? Yeah, I hope so. Well, all we do is hope, but um, you know Ryan, you know if, if it's there, you know he try to get to us, get it to us, and um, let us make plays. But you know we're gonna try to be available as much as we can. He said that he's been more kind of vocal with the receivers about letting them know exactly what he mm-hmm. wants. Have you felt that the same way with the backs? Um, he's been that way since he got here. You know, anytime he needs to communicate something or he sees something or he wants to. Want us to do something as far as what the defense has given us. He's always he's always communicating in meetings and even on the practice field. So that's what Brian does. What what kind of physical challenge is the sand pit? Like when you work there, are you you pretty tired afterwards? Come join me. You, you, you <laughs> can check it out. Can, you want to see? You, yeah, you can come do it. But no, nah, it's um, it's 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 real now. It's, uh, it gets you tired. Um, I love. It. I feel like it gets me in shape. And when the guys come over there and join me, they run. They see why <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm always hunched over. But it's just it's just good work. And um, uh, Coach Brabel and um, our strength and um, coaching staff. Um, you know they help you know help me get me in shape. And any other of our players and teammates want to come over there and get in shape. They they like doing it as well. When you go to the beach, do you work out in the sand or you just enjoy it? Well, if I'm I'm at the beach. Of course, if I ain't laying out trying to get a tan, but um, um, it's, it's, it's always good to work in the sand. I feel like it's a good restrictor running. Um, you know, you have to really dig and um, get, get your legs burning. And um, definitely, you know, if you ain't in shape, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to get you. How much did getting back into game action last year help you coming into the first season? Well, yeah, I just wanted to get back. Um, I was doing my best. Um, rehabbing and doing whatever I could to get back, um, um, and you know, just trying to do whatever I can to come back and, and, and help the team, and then just just working back, you know, from from the injury, and then let that lead into the off season, and then come to camp ready to work and going full stride. Derek, what do you like about the field of this team? I mean, you know, certainly a lot of accomplishments the last three seasons, but. And, and obviously still three more weeks left to the season, but where do you like where this team is and trying to build on, you know, past success? Yeah, I think we got a, a lot of younger guys, you know, guys that are hungry. Um, and, you know, the, the whole team is hungry. And Coach, you know, preaches on, preaches this, um, you know, holding each other accountable. And I feel like a lot of guys do that, and the leaders on this team do that as well. And just having that 
uh, improving mindset, want to get better every day on all three phases, paying attention to what we need to do on each detail, having the fundamentals. Everything that Coach preaches, I think everybody's trying to take take attention to and try to do it out here each and every day or in the meetings or, 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 or whatever, else, wherever else, whatever else we're doing. Sorry was about it, that. Was it good to catch up with Julio a little bit? What's it like for him, I guess, being being back here? Oh, yeah. Um, anytime I you know, catch up with him is always fun. And, you know, we're we joking around. He's talking about how it's been over there and, you know, how he's been and how everything's going. So just catching up, really. What do you think about him in 85? Uh, I don't think that fits him, but I'm sure he'll, <laughs> he'll change it once, you know, the roster is set and things like that. But I can't really see Julio in 85, really. When you're working individually on the sand and, and you're, you're looking for motivation to dig a little bit deeper, what motivates you individually, like, during the summer? Um, To get it done, to get out of that sand pit, really, because <laughs> I'm tired. But, no, nah, um, I'm just, just working, um, trying to improve, trying to stay in shape and get the most, you know, out of uh, being in the sand pit, or if I'm doing something in the weight room, or, or when I'm in the, in individual or anything at practice, I'm just looking to improve each and every day, and that's all you can do as a player. Obviously, a lot of that work is to make you as fresh in the fourth quarter as you are in the first quarter. How much pride do you take in that, especially in the fourth quarter when guys are tired and not as willing to tackle you? Yeah, I think well, that's why uh, Coach Brabo has me on this plan, just so when it's time to go, I'm ready to go, and you know when they need me to answer, I'm, I'm there to answer. Whether it's the first quarter, second, third, or fourth, I'm just willing to um, go out there and make plays and do what I can to help the team. Couple more. From an endurance standpoint, when you're not taking hits and you're not having those pads hit, uh, do you still feel like you're, you're conditioning for that that readiness down in the fourth quarter because you're not taking those hits? Um, when I'm not here, I'm working out. When I'm here, I'm working out. I'm running. So I'm always you know, trying to be in shape and be ready when that time comes. Teresa, before I get to you, just uh, you know, you get in after practice and you, know, you see unfortunate news, tragic news, just on behalf of the Titan family, our organization, our coaches, our players. I uh, just want to send a, um, our condolences, our sympathies to the Knox family. You, I don't have many more details other than that, other than uh, you know, a young man's not with us anymore. Got to know Dawson coming down here. Uh, met his family out in the community, so. Um, our condolences to them. Mike, uh, switching gears, uh, have you made a decision on who's starting a quarterback on Saturday night? No. I'm going to try to digest this practice and um, make that decision. Chance that maybe you, you, you want to look at Malik again and see how he Sure, abs- of course. A- absolutely. You know what I mean? We went through with a plan last, last week and you know, went through a plan and, and to, to say, hey, we're going to put you back out there in the second half. I'd like to see you execute some things. Um, he didn't, and so we deferred to, to Logan. So uh, we'll, we'll continue to give everybody here that's earned opportunities opportunities, uh, and, and he absolutely has. And you know, just want to digest this practice and you know figure out a plan, um, you know, for the game. With Dylan and, and Nicholas do, do each getting a day up top, do, do you think once you look at the film, you'll have a chance to really differentiate them, or you suspect? Not yet. Well, I don't think off of one day. I mean, but obviously this was another opportunity. I'll look and see how Nick um, performed as well as everybody else. Um, didn't get to see much other than the, the two minute. What have you seen from Nick Westbrook in this camp? He's heading into year three, and he's one of the more experienced receivers in this system now. Uh, a lot of versatility, a lot of toughness. Uh, can play different positions. You know, willing to go in there and block. Um, had, had some nice catches yesterday and a play pass stuff. Uh, seven on seven, had a, had a nice executed catch and run through some traffic on a keeper. Uh, just a lot of consistency from Nick. I think seen a lot of growth. I think he's, I think he's healthy. I think he's, um, you know, just developing. And he's got a lot more comfort and also helps us on special teams. Mike, how things you like from uh, McQuarrie after seeing him these last couple of days going against different receivers than your own? Yeah, you know, Rogers competitive. I think he's uh, challenges. He's um, you know, he's very coachable. You know, he loves loves to be coached, and you know, they may catch a couple on him, but he's going to keep competing, and he, and he challenges, and you know, comes up with a lot of ball production. Taylor seemed to have a really big bounce back day, and it sounded like he, he said he watched film, he knew what he did wrong, he came out and intent to set it straight. Did you see that? Absolutely. You know, from what I saw, I think he was. You know, again, he, he comes in with a great attitude every single day. I mean, it's he's had a long rehab. And he spent a lot of time in this building in the offseason. 
uh, and, and he wants to be good. He wants to help us. He wants to define a role for himself. Um, and, and I think he was exhausted. I think he was excited about coming out here and practicing. And I mean, early on in practice, he just he looked like he was worn out. And um, you know, we've talked about that to our entire team about making sure that you know we're not so anxious about um, the practice or the game that's going to happen. You know, we have to be able to stay neutral, stay in the moment, and then execute when the when the ball snap. We have to save every ounce of energy that we have um, for the play. Uh, I, I mean, I would say that the, um, the the first eight plays weren't very good. They ran it eight straight times. I don't think it was, you know, the run defense that we expect. Um, but I think they settled down. I think they, you know, did better in, um, you know, in the red zone stuff. I thought it was much more competitive down there. But uh, when they handed the ball off eight straight plays, I didn't. I didn't. That's not what I expect from our defense. What has Chance Campbell done to maybe warrant more reps with, with that top group? Uh, yeah, what are you referencing? Chance Campbell, is, I've, I've just kind of seen him with, with, the, with the ones more, seems to be kind of active. Um, just maybe how have you kind of seen he, him progress from the well, start? Well, I think some of that, now? yeah, he's improved. I think some of that's a, a product of, of some injuries, of some guys not being out there, uh, guys working through some things. So um, he's, I will say this, uh, Ben, he's a young player that's been able to handle multiple positions. So that's kind of helped him. You know, if an opportunity arises, uh, he pops in there. Uh, so he he's studied, he's learned multiple positions, um, you know, and, and he tried to take advantage of his opportunities when he's been out there. Special teams, you know, would try to probably be his primary role, but he has certainly, um, you know, given himself a chance just by knowing a couple different positions. So, you know, we can move guys around. What's Kyle do especially well, Mike, in, the, in those tight, spaces to, to kind of create a little separation for himself? Well, I mean, he's quick, man. He goes rabbit hunt with a hammer. He uh, certainly just is able to get in and out of cuts, man coverage, Ryan trusts him. You know, he's able to, to, to change speeds and, and put his foot in the ground and redirect. Tiger's like running away from, from some people today. How's he developing in that third down kind of role? Good. I wish I would have been able to see it. I'm going to have to go watch the tape, but that's, uh, that's great. You know, Dontrell was a player that – Came in, we know his story, didn't have a job, uh, came in, did everything that he could for us to learn quickly and, and find a role, and has developed, was a runner for us when we needed him to be. And, um, you know, he's really done a nice job in that third down role. He's trying to be involved in the, as a personal protector on the punt team. That's something that he's really uh, wants to, to try to earn. That's a job that he wants to, to earn and take pride in. So uh, that's great to see. Why is the rep count decreased for Logan? Because, uh, you know, I just think that we have to continue um, to, to, to develop uh, Malik in this system. And I, I, we've had conversations with Logan about, you know, his opportunity to compete. But I also feel like, um, you know, we have, to, we have to try to see, you know, how quickly we can bring Malik along. And um, I think that would be the reason why. In what regards? Are you talking specific? Anything specific, uh, any, or just anything that stand out to you positively? That uh, well, I, mean, I think we always that. would like to be able to run the football and, and marry our play passes. We hit a couple shots yesterday. I have no idea what it looked like today offensively. Um, you know, defensively, we got our hands on a lot of footballs. We needed, you know, disrupt the football more. Um, you know, special teams, it took a step, I think, in a positive direction against the Ravens. It'll be critical against, a, you know, a big, fast unit like Tampa to, to try to build on that. Um, you know, really just kind of what we would like to try to do each and every week. Yeah, or Nick or, or, or any of them are lunging when they're trying to block, what kind of position does that Who did you reference? Dylan or really any of them. Dylan, Nick, the offensive lineman, when they kind of lunge when they're trying to block, what kind of position can that put in? In, in, what, in what blocking? Which blocking are you referencing? Is it a run? Is it run. a pass? Is it inside zone, outside zone? Run specifically. If they kind of lunge on the initial block, and that kind of put them in a, dis a well, disadvantageous position? Well, no, I mean, we, we have to have a style. We have to run off the football. Uh, we have to be under control. Uh, we understand the movement. We need to redirect and, and try to latch on. But uh, the defensive linemen are, are too good in this league, too powerful uh, for us to kind of stand there and, and waddle off the ball. That's not what we teach. So you know, there's a fine line 
uh, between running off the ball and, and, and losing your balance, you know, especially in, in some of these when they're moving. Balance. Come on, Kayla. Uh, when you, with you having two joint practices this fall, anything you take from these two and maybe say, hey, we're going to switch things around and this next one coming up next week? We are, yeah. Okay. We're going to split up for team against Arizona. You know, Cliff and I have talked and going to try to give this a, an idea. I love the one-on-ones. I love uh, some of the seven-on-seven -seven work, especially in the red zone. Pass rush is good to be able to see a, a different style. Um, but these guys go hard. You know, I mean, we practice. I appreciate the way they practice. I appreciate the intensity in which they practice. So I'm conscious of that. So we'll try to do a lot of those things. We'll split apart for, for some teamwork, whether we, you know, have a show team or not, or whether we go against ourselves. Um, then we're going to give that a try next week. Can you trim the issues out of what the officials were calling? Um, no, I think they're trying to focus on the rules. Um, Offsides too much or, or false starting too much? or. No, I mean, any penalties is something that we need to eliminate. Um, we we'll just try to look at it and make sure the players understand, you know, what's going on.